guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing amazing what was this i don't know <laughs> i am doing great if you're asking i am doing fantastic i am here with a foundation routine a spring foundation routine and i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this look so if you want to know what i used and what i think about different price points and different products please continue watching before I show you guys the products that I use either every day or whatever day I wear makeup because I don't wear makeup every single day like I used to, I do want to talk to you guys about something that has been on my mind for a while and I'm pretty sure a lot of people can agree with me and if you don't, let me know in the comments why. Um, I feel like nowadays with social media and everything being done through the internet, there's so many ways that you can perfect your skin and I'm not going to lie, I've used them myself. I can't say I haven't because I do. And it's really fun to use filters and all that, but at the end of the day, we are not walking filters and we have to accept ourselves just the way we are. Like you are looking at me with a no makeup on, I have a lot of freckles, I have pimples, I have dark under eyes, I have wrinkles. And I still, at the end of the day, look at myself in the mirror and I love what I see. And a lot of people don't do that and I feel like we need to accept ourselves with and without makeup you need to see yourself you need to love yourself a lot of people don't do that and i think it's really necessary for you to do that and a lot of people look at themselves and they don't like what they see and honestly guys we need to stop that we need to change that i want you guys to do something for the next 30 days you might have heard about this or you probably haven't i want you guys every single day that you wake up look in the mirror and tell yourself at least one thing that you love about yourself and trust me guys the way that you look at yourself after those 30 days, it's life-changing. I know I sound super dramatic, but it's crazy how much your life can change by you accepting yourself. And one more thing that I cannot say enough, please do not compare yourself with another person. That is the worst thing you can do. It will bring your self-esteem down and we don't want that. We want to boost our self-esteem. We want to love ourselves. We want to stop that please because i know so many people that they'll see somebody with perfect skin perfect skin okay and they're like oh my god look at her skin it looks so good i wish i had that like no girl stop that stop that love yourself the way you are stop comparing yourself because that's not good you're your own unique person and you don't know how beautiful that is so let's go get onto this video because i could talk about this all day guys i really can y'all want that because i'll be here for 24 hours talking 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 Anyways, let's get to the video. So the first thing I do is I hydrate my skin. To me, honestly, skincare in general, I love it. I feel like if you don't take care of your skin, your makeup is not going to look bomb. And we want our makeup and our skin to look great. So we got to take care of it. So I do want to show you guys what I use on my skin on a daily basis. So I have two um, eye creams. This one is from Good Molecules and it's the Yerba Mate Wake Up Gel. This one is super cheap. I believe it's six to nine dollars around there. It's really good. I like to leave it in a cold place like in my refrigerator. Then I put it on and it feels amazing. And it's more of a thicker. Whoa, it's coming out. It's more of a thicker consistency and I enjoy this a lot. Oh, and it's coming out. Why did I press it? Oh God. So the second one I have is from Vichy and it's called Mineral 89 and it looks like this. This one I believe is more than 20 bucks. I can be wrong. I bought this at Target and I've been loving this. I've been using it for about two months I want to say and it's up to here now. I'm almost done with it. I will definitely be repurchasing this. Really good. Really really good and it's so cute. It's like so elegant looking. So yes, I honestly, I gotta tell you guys something. I don't know if you guys do this too. I like to wear eye creams all over my face. I don't know if that's good or not, but I've been doing it for a while and my face has been feeling amazing. I had a lot of scars and I feel like they have gone down. My under eyes have been improving so much, guys. Like it's ridiculous. And... Honestly, I don't know which one has been helping me more because I used this one day, then I used this one the other day. I don't know if it's the combination of both, but honestly, my under eyes have been looking really, really good and more points for me, you know? So I do want to share those because it's two different price points. If you guys are interested in any of them, they're pretty good products. Now, when it comes to all over hydration, I do like to use these 4th Ray uh, Beauty 
face milks this one is the oat i do have the watermelon one i believe and then i have a matcha one i got a pack of three for like 12 15 dollars i don't remember how much it was these are really good really good hydration and they smell really good too and i know they have other um scents or flavors i don't know both i don't know and they're really really good so i highly suggest this it keeps your skin hydrated all day so i did apply some under my eyes i applied the yerba mate one it feels amazing it's still sinking in i like to have them sink in my skin and for all over my face i'm going to be applying this one so i like this one because it's a dropper so i'll apply a little bit here a little bit here and i'll work this into my skin and my skin does tend to get rid really fast so please ignore that so i'm going to let this sink in i like to let my products sink in for at least five minutes because i feel like if i don't leave them on my skin for like five minutes or more they don't do anything so now while this sinks in i like to do my eyebrows so for my eyebrows it just depends sometimes i don't even fill them in because my eyebrows are really not that bad to be honest but if i do want something super simple i do go in with the morphe gel it's the clear one this one was super cheap i think it was in a kit that was like 18 dollars and this came in it it's really really good and then i also have this one from benefit it's the gimme brow i think this is the small version i'm probably wrong i really don't remember but this one has a tint this one is in the shade five this one's pretty cool it has a little applicator and for today i think i'm going to be using this one this one i don't remember how much it was but i know this one was more expensive than this one so I'm going to do my eyebrow really quick for you guys. I just like to set them in place. Now that everything has seeped into my skin, I do want to go ahead and fill my eyebrows a little bit because as you can see, I am missing like eyebrow hairs there and in other little parts. I do have two different eyebrow pencils. This one is from Anastasia and this is the Brow Definer in Dark Brown. And then this other one is from Morphe in the tone Mocha. So these are really good. I like both. I don't have a, a preference when it comes to these two. And they are really good in price. I got this in a little bundle that was 18 bucks, And it had four products, I believe. And then this one came by itself. I don't remember how much I paid. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And fill in my eyebrows. So the next thing I would apply on my skin is a primer. Sometimes I use primer, sometimes I don't, but I do want to share what I like. So the two first ones are going to be more of a hydrating, luminous primer, which is my favorite. The first one is from Beauty Creations, and it's the Glow Primer Oil, and it looks like this. It looks so pretty in the bottle. This is super cheap. It's less than 10 bucks, and it leaves my skin really dewy and pretty. Not like wet dewy, but a really nice dew. I love this and then I love that it has a little dropper and then this second one I have talked about it in a previous video this one is from Milani prime light in 02 this is a strobing cream I know Mac has one I have that one as well but this one honestly works better at least in my opinion and it's super cheap it's under 12 bucks and I love that they have different tones so either or I like to use sometimes I even use both the next product is from beauty creations and this is the primer stick matte now, I personally like to use this on my T-zone because during the summertime, I do tend to get oily in my T-zone and I love this stuff. It prevents my makeup from cracking or anything like that and it's really nice on the skin. Just don't use a lot because I feel like if you use a lot, it does look weird under your foundation. Now, the next three are more of like the pore filling primers and all that. I do have the Beauty Creations Poreless Primer. This stuff is really good. I've been liking Beauty Creations like primers and all that and they're really, really good. This one is less than 10 bucks. And then this one is from Italia. It's the pore eraser and it's a mattifying um, uh, primer as well. It's pretty small, but it was like $6 and it's really, really good. I've been really impressed with this pore uh, eraser. So if you guys are on the market looking for something 
like a pore like a poreless primer kind of these are really good and then last but not least i think you all know this one this one is a tatcha one silk canvas this is super super good i can't complain i've hit pan i need another one so for today's video i'm going to be using these two so i'm gonna go ahead and apply that and then i do want to talk to you guys about the foundations i've been loving right now especially for the springtime I've been loving the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the dewy version. This is in the tone Soft Beige. It looks really dark like this, but once I put it on, you'll see it looks really good. This one is like $6, $7, and it's pretty, pretty good, guys. I cannot complain about this one. The next one, this one, I did not know I was going to love as much as I do. At first, I'm like, you know what? This is not going to work. I don't know why I thought about it. I'm like, this is not going to work. But as soon as I use it, I'm like, wait, what? I was so impressed and this is one of my top foundations to be honest this is the beauty creations flawless day foundation in 3.0 this stuff is bomb guys you know what I love about it it's medium to full coverage but if you want something lighter I always mix it in with the strobing cream and it leaves like a tint on your skin it looks beautiful so if you haven't tried this one Super cheap, I think it's 12, 13 bucks. It's really, really good. Now, last but not least, I have talked about this foundation so many times on my channel and I cannot get enough of it. It's the Lancome Tint Odell Ultra Wear. And the tone for this one is 270 Biz W. Love this foundation. It's super beautiful on the skin. This is a foundation that I do not need primer. If you love primer, go ahead and use it, but you do not need primer for this. Like your skin will look literally like skin. It does not look overpowered. By the foundation it melts into the skin it looks so beautiful i think this will be forever my foundation forever and ever and ever my favorite foundation of all time especially because i wear it on my wedding day this has a special place in my heart so i'm going to go ahead and apply my product and we'll be back to talk about concealers So as you can see, the foundation looks really nice. It looks really glowy and luminous, and I love that. And then I also love that you can still see my imperfections. I love all that. I feel like it looks really pretty. I did scratch myself. That's why it's super red here, but disregard that. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about the concealers. I have two right here. I have the Huda Beauty and Overachiever Concealer in Coconut Flakes. And then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear in the Tone Oatmeal. I like these two a lot. This one is a little bit too light for my under eyes, but I like them mixed in together. This one is really good. I haven't found my perfect, perfect, perfect concealer, but if I had to choose one, it would have to be this one. The coverage is nice and it wears really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and apply these and set my under eyes with the Jeffree Star Rose Powder. And that's the only place I'm going to be setting because I don't like to set anywhere else. And I am going to leave this on here for about five minutes. So as I leave my concealer like this for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of contour, nothing crazy, especially right here. Only, I do like three. This one is the H Concealer from Nick Cake, New York. And this is in the tone Fawn. This is a little bit darker than my skin. This is really nice and it's super cheap. And this other one is from Magic Collection. It's the Extra Coverage Concealer Matte Finish in the tone Rich Caramel. Obviously, it's darker than me, 
but sometimes I like to mix stuff so I like this one as well and then this one is from elf it's the hydrating camo concealer in the tone rich ebony I love these three so I'm going to go ahead and apply this a little bit on my cheeks and blend it out I don't like to apply a lot of it I only like to apply a little bit just to get some color going And as you can see, this leaves a light, light tone on my skin. And I love how it looks, guys. It looks super natural. It doesn't look overdone. Whatever I have left, I'm going to do it on my nose. But this looks super, super natural. And it looks really nice in person because it is a cream or a liquid, I should say. And it's really nice on the skin. It looks super natural. I love this stuff. Now for blush, I really like this Clinique Chubby Stick. It is in the tone Amped Up Apple. And that's the tone, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my cheek and blend it out. I don't like to wear a lot of it, like about that much. So as you saw, I really don't like to set my skin. I like to let it be all luminous and dewy and all that. The only part that I really set is my under eyes because like I've told you guys, I do have dark under eyes and I do have a wrinkle or two in each under eye. So I do like to set that part, but the rest looks really good, really dewy. It looks really healthy and that's what I love. So now the last part would be to add a mascara. This one is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes, apply mascara, and we're almost done. The last thing to do are the lips. So for the lips, I really have been liking this Beauty Creation Ultra Dazzle Lip Gloss in the tone BFF. I only use a tiny amount. It's really, really nice. And then this other one, I always talk about it. It's the Kiss and it's called Virgin. The color is beautiful. I am going to go ahead and apply these two and literally we're done guys. And this is the final product, guys. Let me know in the comments if you like it. I know that the video was all over the place. I'm really sorry, but I hope you guys learned something and you like it. If you use any product that I use, let me know in the comments. Or if you have a product that you like to use for your makeup or your foundation routine in the springtime, let me know because I'm always down to try new products. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to do so because as soon as I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I cannot thank you enough. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.